Hello Libras, this week we have got our new moon in Gemini. It's on Thursday the 10th and it's an eclipse, it's a solar eclipse. So this is our second eclipse of eclipse season. Eclipse season basically means that once a year we have these set of eclipses, always in the same two signs. This year and last year were in the signs of Gemini and Sagittarius, opposite signs. Um, and these are basically the themes of what we believe in, what the truth is, how we communicate, how we learn, um, you know, how we can move past these things, how we can move higher, bigger, how we can expand. Um, so collectively as a society, we will be having that happen, as you may have noticed, but also on a personal level, for you in particular, this is a time for you to really, really try and push the ceiling of what you are limiting yourself. So that might be in relationships, you might be limiting the amount of love that you can receive, whether you are single or in a relationship, you know, maybe you have a bit of a block on how much you are willing to receive. Um, because it's very vulnerable receiving. It might be in work, it might be the money that you receive, you might have a limit on that, you know, you say to yourself, I can't move past this, this is all I can have, this is all I can accept, this is all I deserve. So these are the things that are going to be shifting for you at this new moon eclipse. Um, and if you can try and stay very aware, there is a chance that you can hit that ceiling and go past it now. So here we have the moon and the knight of pentacles. So there is some confusion around how you should be moving forwards. You're moving very slowly at something at the moment or you're waiting for something or you're kind of confused about what direction to take. This is saying to you, if you are confused about something, just move slowly but surely. Don't stop, you know, don't say to yourself, oh, well, I'm seeking a relationship or I'm seeking this career that I want and it's not happening right now. So I'm just going to say or whatever and let it go. Don't do that, you know you're still on the path and even though you don't feel like or it doesn't seem like things are moving in your favor they are but very much behind the scenes divine is kind of moving around moving things around for you and guiding you still but it is just happening slowly so you have just got to hang on in there and believe so let me know in the comments if that resonated guys otherwise you can book a reading from the link below and i'll see you next week